So Liam here again, been messing about today. I've got a, an Arduino Uno out today and this little board from eBay. It's a, I can't remember the actual chip on it. Give me a second, I've got my laptop here. I've got the date sheet open. It's a PCF8591 four channel ADC and one channel DAC. All channels are only eight bits, but that's more than enough for my purpose. But this little eBay board is like a couple of quid. It comes with a potentiometer, a photo cell, and a tiny bead for mister. So three of the actual analog channels with these jumpers, you can hook up to these. So when you're first executing your code, you can actually check it's working correctly. And there's a little green LED just here, which isn't lit up at the minute. Uh, it's connecting to the analog output. So I've hooked up my remote control for my amplifier from downstairs. The volume up is going through the infrared receiver here and will increase the value being sent to the digital to analog converter. Volume down will decrease it and the enter button will make it go to half. So if I hit the enter button you see the little green LED come on. So if I now hold it's a bit bright in here to see it and it's just going to wash out the camera anyway but if i hold down the down button you can see it's slowly going down and it's gone out now because it's past the point it's too low a value where the led will light up so just important to say this isn't pulse width modulation this is an actual analog voltage output so unlike pulse width modulation even if you was going right down to the lowest value the led would still come on really dim because there's a voltage pulse which is still high enough to turn it on this literally LED is now at a point where it can't even turn on. So I can start to increase the value. Let's see if I can hold this up again and get a uh, don't fall Arduino. Probably out of focus. You can see that the green LED is starting to come on. If I hit the enter button, it comes on to half brightness, and then I can you can see the little infrared modules flashing away. So as I'm holding it up, it's just getting brighter and brighter, and it's heading up to um, full brightness. It doesn't quite go to full brightness. This LED, because this is just a resistor chain in here, and it must have a limited current capability, I'm guessing this LED must load it down because it will only get to four, about 4.3 4 volts output and then it won't go anymore. Yeah, 4.3 volts, uh, which is an digital of about 220. And that's it, that's maxed out. If I keep holding down the button, it will eventually just roll over and go back to zero. So I'm at a point now where decreasing the file goes back round to zero, increasing it. So yeah, and I was I can hit the middle one, and take it to halfway. So that's what's great with Arduino. Rather than having to write out all these file registers myself and mess about with a pick, just for learning the chip, obviously open the data sheet up today. Just for actually learning the chip, it's a just quick look online. There's some various examples and stuff. Use the IR library, and uh, away it goes. So um, I'm going to do some really dodgy filming of my computer screen now, but uh, bear with me. Uh, forward apologies about the quality of this, but uh, I'm not hooking up the video capture just for 30 seconds of video. But so, as you can see, as I'm holding the down button down the all the F's are just telling me it's a repeat bit singularly that is the code for my down button you see every time I press it the value of the digital to analog convert that's it is digital and that's it is a voltage value these other ones on here are actually the ever so that's the potentiometer that's the temperature for mister and that's the photo cell so for instance if I put my hand over it you can see the photo cell's gone to 240, take my hand off, drop to 216. But yeah, if I press the middle button, you'll see the DAC just 120 cent, that's halfway. So, so singularly, I can press whichever button I've last pressed, it remembers it. And then when I hold it down, I just get the NEC, it's NEC protocol, so I just get the repeat bits. And it just keeps putting it in a loop. Then you see steady incrementation of the value there going up so yeah obviously it's not going to be that slow in real life it's going to be like 0.1 volts for every 
rotation rather than look it's going up in tenths of a volt it will take you a long time of holding the button down this but it's going to be pre-programmed like the one to ten and then like 0.1 volt selection on the button press so anyway yeah so that's all for today just a quick video i think i'm going with this i'm not even going to bother trying the pulse width modulation out this works well enough and the chip was so cheap um so yeah i've got the lcd drivers done i've got the i've got the dac now done will it macro in on that come on yeah that thing anyway a bit bright really for it i've got that done i've got the ir sensor on the arduino uh so yeah all i've got to do is hook a couple of relays and drivers up so the next stage really is just for hardware and obviously compiling all the software into one running program because at present they're all separate programs this actually is the first time i've compiled two of my programs together i compiled the ir sensing routine and the dac routine together today so obviously the next ones i need to compile the rtc module oh no the rtc module is compiled with the lcu driver as well so those two are together so i just need to add these two the rtc and lcd together and then obviously just the just a simple relay board one so anyway yeah that's that's all for today as always thanks for watching